Hi, my name is Melissa Rapp, and this is my dress rehearsal persuasive speech. I will be inviting a few of my friends over to discuss um, the benefits of knowing where their animals are coming from. They're both interested in getting um, a new dog, so I want to make sure that they're doing the research and um, making sure that they have all the knowledge to make the right decision on it. So here we go. I brought you here today to um, discuss the benefits of researching where your animals are coming from. I know you both have been looking for um, a new dog, so I want you guys to be able to make the right decision and have the best knowledge of where the dog's coming from and their health benefits and if the store that you're getting it from has a bad track record or anything like that. I just want to make sure you guys are completely informed because there are so many benefits to being informed on that. Um, it's beneficial to you and the dog's health um, because there are so many negative places out there nowadays that these dogs are coming from and one of them is a puppy mill. So I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to read something to you about um, what a puppy mill is. So close your eyes. Imagine a small room with no windows. Against every wall in the room there are cages, floor to ceiling. Each cage has multiple dogs in it, cramped with no bottom lining. The smell is completely overwhelming and the sounds make you want to cry. This room is a part of a house and each room in the house is just like it. This is a puppy mill. Okay, you can open your eyes. Um, puppy mills have become far too common today. They are used by a lot of um, the bigger pet store chains, like Petland, um, to name one, that's the local one. Petland's known for using puppy mills, but nothing's been done. Um, the ASPCA, their website talks about this. They give a list of um, pet stores that use puppy mills, but they've been unable to shut them down because they're still so successful. And a lot of people don't even know about the fact that they use the puppy mills. So I kind of wanted to inform you guys on that because Petland is one of the most um, common places in Athens to get an animal. And so many people don't know that, and if they did, I think that it would be very beneficial to each owner because the puppy mills have so many, cause so many health, health problems for the animals. Um, the shops use them because they're so convenient. Um, there are, is like a group of people that get together and purchase like an old house or a trailer out in the woods where nobody will come to it so nobody will question what's in the house and then they fill each room with cages um, they don't change their water they don't change um, the room at all they just lock these dogs up and force them to breed and it's so awful um, most of the mothers are breed are forced to breed until they die um, the puppies are sick from birth because they're in these terrible conditions. Um, they're torn away from their mother the second that they um, are able to live on their own. And they're put in these, these pet stores. And it's such a shame because many people don't even know it. Um, you can tell by the health of the dog when you like play with it in the store. They're sniffly and their, their coats are um, oil, more oily and they're um, very underweight. It's because they aren't taken care of when they're born and the mothers are already sick so they are more prone to pass diseases on these puppies it's such a shame um the aspca commercials i'm sure you guys have seen them they um where they play the music and they have the pictures of the sad dogs that make everyone want to cry those most of those animals are from puppy mills that they've been able to you know find and stop but whenever that happens Whenever they, uh, like an owner of a puppy mill, feels like someone's going to come in and take the animals or catch them, they leave the dogs. They leave the house completely abandoned. And oftentimes the dogs just die. All of these little puppies, like it's just so sad. And there's so many reasons to, to shop around and to make sure you're making the right choice when you're getting a dog because you could be getting those dogs and not even know. So many people don't know that Petland's even affiliated with puppy mills. Um, There's so many other alternatives to, to getting a dog. Um, for example, one, breeders. If you're looking for a specific breed of dog, 
Um, breeders are so knowledgeable because oftentimes this isn't their first litter. Um, and they keep the dogs up to date. They know what health risks they will have later in life. And it's just very beneficial to at least ask a breeder what you should expect if you're not looking to get one. Or you can um, go online and see if there are shops, like other pet stores, that um, have the kind of dog that you want. Or if you're just looking to look for another dog, um, shops have, if they're not affiliated with Puppy Mills, they have really good up-to-date shop records of the dogs and they've seen that a lot. Um, and then there's also adoption. You can go into a, a local shelter and adopt a dog and save its life. A lot of times those dogs have been abused and then get a second chance through these shelters and the shelters have been able to take care of them, make them feel better, um, cure whatever ailments they may have. And that's really great too. Any dog that you get from one of these places, you can also take to a vet. And oftentimes a vet can tell you, you know, what shots they've had, what incidents have happened to them just through, you know, experience with the dog. Um, it's just so beneficial to research all of this so that you make sure that you're getting the right dog for you and that your dog is healthy. Because if it's not healthy, you're going to have so many troubles down the road. And it's, it's very good to be knowledgeable on this. So I suggest that you research it, you go online, you look at the ASP ASPCA website, you go on and look for other puppy mills and find what businesses are affiliated with them and then steer clear of them. Um, the internet is obviously the simplest way to do that. And then there's also word of mouth. I actually didn't know that Petland was affiliated with puppy mills and I didn't know what a puppy mill was until a few years ago um, because of word of mouth. When Petland came to Athens, everyone was appalled by it because of these puppy mills and so I researched it, I went online and I found out what they were and I couldn't believe that a business would want to affiliate themselves with something like that. Um, so even like word of mouth with breeders and with shelters and things like that, people will steer you in the right direction and then you can go and find out for yourself. Um, it is so important to um, look into all of this if you want the dog to be healthy and if you want them to live a long life. It's very simple to go online and research all this and to go to a shelter and ask questions or call a breeder. Um, and it's better to shop around and to find, um, to find what's right for you and what's right for your dog. Um, I, at this point, I'll prompt questions and see if they have anything to say about um, puppy mills or personal experience from it. Um, and then I will thank them. So thank you very much for coming and I hope that you guys are going to take something away from this and that you'll make the right decision with all the knowledge that um, I've given you today. I hope that you take my advice and I hope that you find a happy, healthy dog. Thank you.